You want me to put that on my todger? This one's wife. Shut up, bitch. Did this one's wife fight back at the Espies? Hello, I'm H.G. Tudor. Many of you have read about what happened at the Espies, watched videos about it, and seen actual footage taken from the event. At this event, this one's wife and Harry demonstrated their sense of entitlement and rudeness by departing from the award ceremony shortly after when Harry received the Pat Tillman Award for service. As they left, they moved at a glacial pace in order to allow this one's wife to assert control over people in the audience by meeting and greeting them. This did not go down well with other audience members, who were heard jeering them, were gesticulating at them to get out, and it also appeared that she was lambasted with a criticism of she's no Princess of Wales, whilst the individual who was holding the mic suggested handing it down to her. This demonstrates the unpopularity of the gruesome twosome, and also, of course, is further evidence of the entitled and self-absorbed behaviour of this one's wife. Not giving a fig about the fact that she was being rude by leaving immediately after the receipt of the award, getting in the eye line of those trying to watch what was still going on on the stage, and then blocking that view as she attempted to assert control physically by hugging and shaking hands with people, she once again demonstrated that sense of entitlement, lack of accountability, absence of emotional empathy, poor boundary recognition, and her manipulative behaviours, all done to ensure that the prime aims were obtained. In the course of that departure, she faced criticism, and of course this was amplified thereafter, as it always is, by analysis and reportage across social media and mainstream media of those behaviours. But it's been suggested that during that exit, this one's wife fought back. A video has emerged which has been viewed some 43,000 times. It's labelled with Shut up, bitch. OMG, this one's wife did this while leaving the Espy as someone yelled, You're no Princess of Wales. Might it have been, therefore, that she turned round and hissed, see my video, the hiss, Shut up, bitch, at somebody? Might it have been a substantial fracture of her facade? Conceivably, this could happen. After all, she was receiving repeated threats to her control. One, people suggesting they get out. Two, people gesticulating for them to get out. Three, an individual shouting, she's no Princess of Wales. Four, an individual stating words to the effect of, hand the mic down to her. Accordingly, in that instance, she was receiving various threats to control. Her narcissism would immediately look to nullify those threats to control and to do so directly. That would be the first consideration. Of course, in doing so, her facade management would want to have a say, because as a middle mid-range narcissist, she operates with a facade in a public situation such as the awards ceremony, and therefore, whatever her narcissism might have been contemplating by way of a direct assertion of control to nullify the threat, it would have to take into account that facade management. But sometimes, the desperation for control causes a fracture in the facade. We've seen it many times with this one's wife. The death stare, the jutting jaw, the repeated blinking, the straining of the neck muscles, the sudden utilisation of the grip of doom in relation to Harry, sometimes a malevolent glare in somebody else's direction. And therefore it is conceivable that her facade management was not able to keep up in this instant, resulting in her turning around and saying to somebody, shut up, bitch. Let's find out more from the video as to what purportedly went on. She is no Princess of Wales. As a guest at the SB Awards, whilst this one's wife and Harry were running out after grabbing the award, that there was 
A comparison. It's unclear if this was in relation to Catherine or Diana. The creator of the video states, I always remember at any awards ceremony, dance recital, music performance, it was always stated that if you choose to attend and perform and receive an award, or whatever it is, it's the proper and polite thing to do to stay for the whole event. You grant the other performers, the recipients, the same respect that they gave you. You don't rush out and leave once you've secured the bag or finished your dance. It's especially rude to do it in the middle of somebody else's speech. Effectively, they are trash. The real royal family certainly wouldn't behave like this. It's all about us, and if it isn't, we will make it so. The Harkles have their own book of etiquette and protocol they abide by. The video states, The TV entertainment shows paid very little attention to her, but focused a little coverage of Harry's award. Harry was awarded, and this one's wife was unusually sedate. This could have been avoided had they slithered out of the way they slid in, but no, they had to make a huge scene when they left by interrupting the person speaking on stage. People weren't having it. It's also the case that the guy on the stage was making fun of this one's wife when he said pass the mic down to her. I can only imagine what a pain in the ass she made out of herself before the event to make a speech if they had passed her the mic, she would have never left. Absolutely, it was a 100% to dig at this one's wife in order to embarrass her. What did he mean by that? He says it loud and clear. Who else would he have been talking about? The crowd is clearly pointing and yelling for them to get out. I hope this continues everywhere they go. I heard that it was stated that she's no Princess of Wales. Even if she didn't hear it there, she will have read about it and will watch it here. How did the media skip this drama and immediately went to, oh gosh, his speech was so gosh darn wonderful? In 1999, when Elia Kazan's legendary phenomenal movie directory, but also infamous naming names in the McCarthy era that caused the blacklisting of a number of innocent industry members, was awarded the Life Achievement Award Oscar, the press was very straightforward the day after, showing how the audience was split, with people who applauded, and people who silently protested. The boos that were hurled at Harry and this one's wife when they exited the theatre in this disruptive manner should have been reported in the news. It's plain to see if someone does not follow Harry and this one's wife's antics, their actions with their entourage were so rude and disrespectful. There are athletes there at the ESPYs that will be not playing all of their lives. This is their Academy Awards. Dressed up and celebrating sporting achievements, and Harry and this one's wife use the ESPYs for their failing PR. It's disgraceful. One wonders if that jibe was a jibe at this one's wife was about Catherine or major shade for her Diana cosplay. Hopefully, Harry thought that it was a jibe about Diana cosplay, with I always I will always love you playing in the background, the MC saying pass the mic down to her, and she's no Princess of Wales. A hilarious trifecta of mocking the grifters as they head out. Did they really leave in the middle of the ceremonies, or was that after the awards were over and they got some special go first thing because of security? It would be so rude to leave before it's over. The video sums up things that have already been seen and spoken about and indeed highlights the rudeness of the behaviour. But it clearly implies, by virtue of the thumbnail, which has Shut Up Bitch in it, and the title, OMG, This One's Wife Did This While Leaving the Espies, as someone yelled, You're No Princess of Wales, to suggest that she actually fought back. But the, but the video itself provides no evidence whatsoever of that, and of course, there's no evidence elsewhere that there was any such response from this one's wife. Whilst it is conceivable that a narcissist such as her could say something like that, once again, we have UK royal trends inventing information to suggest that she responded in this way. And once again, the problem with doing this is that it takes a legitimate instance whereby this one's wife and Harry suffer a form of humiliation with the boos, the jeering, the gesticulations to leave, and the two comments that I've mentioned earlier, but then completely muddies the water by throwing, else, throwing something else into the mix to suggest that this one's wife responded by saying, shut up, bitch, 
when there's no evidence whatsoever that she did. And the problem with doing this is that you've got plenty of material that puts this one's wife in a poor light. You've got her leaving after the award. Rude behaviour. You've got her getting in the way of people watching what was still going on as she meets and greets other people. Again, rude behaviour. You've got people jeering at her. There were the earlier boos. There are the gesticulations for her to go. There's the call of she's no princess of Wales and they hand the mic down to her. At least seven instances of disapproving behaviour towards her or highlighting her poor behaviour. And yet, these numpties that create these videos throw in a lie. And the problem with that is that the behaviour, which speaks for itself as to her rudeness and the reaction, becomes lost. Because a narcissist would immediately point to this. I never said that. Yeah, but what about the fact that you left part way through? No, let's focus on the fact that someone said, I said, shut up, bitch. That's a lie. I never said it. Well, that's as maybe, but can we just get back to the point that you took your time to leave this auditorium? No, no, no. I think it's much more important to focus on the fact that somebody lied about me once again. Yeah, but there was lots of people gesticulating for you to go. Well, in actual fact, somebody said that I shouted, shut up, bitch. I'm sick and tired of people lying about me. Those of you that have been involved with narcissists can easily envisage that circular conversation whereby you keep trying to point out the poor behaviours of the narcissist and they keep bringing it back to the one instance where they're actually in the right as opposed to the seven other instances where they're in the wrong. This one's wife, if anybody were ever to confront her in this way, would behave in exactly the same way. And that's the problem, once again, with these types of videos that invent nonsense not only is it once again another opportunity for this one's wife to portray a particular narrative by suggesting that more and more lies are said about her and to use that to silence those who legitimately criticise her, as I make the point each time, it also results in the existing evidence being contaminated by the inclusion of something that wasn't true. And it remains important to keep highlighting this. This video, as I said, has been seen 43,000 times and has many comments upon it whereby the individuals accept what has been suggested when it's not true. And while this continues to be done, I will continue to highlight this as part of ensuring that people operate on the evidence when it comes to this one's wife because that is how you defeat the narcissist. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.